Due to its forward stroke, the piston develops pressure in the hydraulic oil. This pressurised oil is then sent through a hole into the spool valve chamber. This is where the capacity control is applied. When the stroke is at 100%, every bit of the pressurised hydraulic oil that is displaced is sent to the back of the diaphragm. When the stroke adjuster knob is turned down to 90% stroke, the spool valve moves forward away from the piston. By doing so, it opens the second port for the first 10% of the piston discharge stroke. This can be seen by the bypass tube inside the spool valve not being able to close the second hole for the first 10% of the stroke. During that part of the stroke, the hydraulic oil takes a bypass route back to the reservoir. With the forward motion of the bypass tube, which is in line with the piston, the second hole is closed, blocking the hydraulic oil's bypass route. From this point forward, the remaining 90% of the stroke is all used to move the diaphragm and with it, the process fluid. The same thing happens when the stroke is reduced to 80%, 50% or 20%. When the stroke is set at 20%, the first 80% of the stroke is used to bypass the hydraulic oil and the last 20% is used to move the diaphragm.